This week in history, August 14, 2003, marks 19 years since New York City was affected by the Northeast blackout of 2003. It is only thanks to emergency generators and a whole lot of scrambling here that we are able to say this Thursday night, good evening from our NBC News headquarters in Midtown Manhattan, where we are in the midst of what appears to be a colossal and history-making blackout. I remember it like it was yesterday. It happened just after 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The Atlantic reports that the blackout was caused by a series of faults caused by tree branches touching power lines in Ohio, which were then complicated by human error, software issues, and equipment failures. And the subway system is in total disarray. There is no subway service. The trains that ground to a halt yesterday afternoon remain stranded in tunnels citywide. The transit authority said it will need six to eight hours to straighten out the signal and switching system once power is fully restored. This was hailed as the most widespread blackout in North American history. More than 50 million people across eight northeastern U.S. states and parts of Canada were left without power for at least 24 hours. Right now, the Holland Tunnel, the Lincoln Tunnel is closed. So this is the only way to get out of Manhattan is to go up West Side Highway. And many had feared terrorism, being that the 9-11 attacks were just under two years earlier. Most places restored power by midnight within seven hours, some as early as 6 p.m. on August 14th within two hours, while the New York City subway resumed limited services around 8 p.m. Full power was restored to New York City and Toronto by August 16th. 